DML payments up 30% since our entry last week with our VIP members. But what am I bringing this talk today after the rally? I should have bought that before. In fact, I did record a video which included EML a few weeks ago. Just take a look on our channel. The reason I'm bringing today is because I believe EML, after this guidance reassurance, it is still extremely undervalued, even though there was a 30% rally. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. And I'm also going to be sharing with you in this video some of the hidden points of our stock analysis that is only available for our VP members. So let's have a look. My name is Les, I'm Chief Analyst of BG Trading Australia. I normally cover stocks that could swing 20 to 40% within one to three month time. In fact, this is not a financial advice, it's just us from BG Trading sharing how we apply our strategies together with our VP members uh, to do those trades with a very tight stop losses. I would like to invite you to become a member of our free Facebook community uh, called Buy, Grow, Sell, Strategy for Share Traders. I post a lot of great quality content, including access to some of our exclusive stock analysis. So you can have a look for free for our stock analysis, which we share a great deal of information. Obviously, not the targets or stop losses. This is only available for our VP members, but it can give you a fairly good idea where the company is heading towards. If you're trading, I strongly recommend you to at least understand what you are trading. Remember that we don't invest in the stock market, we mostly trade. Our longest trade normally takes 6 to 12 months, but generally uh, it's all within 1 to 3 months for 20 to 40% profit. Now let's jump straight into, I have put together this analysis of EML payments for our VP members. And um, the idea of this is to understand after today's announcement, what exactly the value of this particular stock is sitting at the moment. And taking a look in different scenarios, and therefore trying to get an idea of what could be the net profitability for this company. So in fact, we put two different scenarios here. But before that, let's jump quickly and understand what's happening with this particular stock. So in January 2024, uh, the recently constituted EML board made a decision to exit once and for all for the tragedy of PCSL business in Europe. So essentially they start the winding down project. What am I saying the tragedy? It's because they used the Central Bank of Ireland as a regulator. There was a lot of issues, probably one of the tightest regulators in the world. And uh, it's costing so much money for EML. So huge amounts of cash was burned year on year. Essentially they wind down the business and they cut the cash burn and most likely we won't see this cash burn in FY25 anymore and therefore that we believe uh, the fact that EML has exit from this uh, PCSL business that will lead back into profitability for FY25. So if you look into my previous analysis, I said this one here, I said this line here. We believe that exiting PCSL is the turnaround strategy for EML to become profitable at near, near profitable at FY24. In fact, if you look at the numbers here, you can see that the underlying EBITDA has become positive and that is exactly what we're looking for because we saw that happen with zip and many other stocks that we have been trading and that has been incredibly profitable for us i believe eml is the next one as now we have assurance 
that the EBITDA for FY25 will be within between a at 54 to 60 million dollar. That's what I expected. That's what the company has actually uh, projected. And also there is a projection for FY uh, up to FY28 the carg to be in between 10 to 12 percent. So year on year, that's the growth pretty much of the company. Obviously, there is still regulatory risks, uh, execution risk, and competition risks. And those risks obviously are already uh, embedded into this a so-called projection. Now, what we did here is we, we took this information, the information that the company has given to us today, and we create two different scenarios here. One with the higher guidance, the higher end of the guidance, and another scenario with the lower end of the guidance. And therefore, we could estimate what could potentially be the net profitability of EML payments for FY25. So in the scenario one, uh, we are talking about the higher end of the guidance, $60 million in uh, earnings before tax. So we are expecting that EML could even report something up to 18 to $22 million profit, net profit for FY25. Or, and at the lower end of the guidance, which let's face, let's be conservative and let's uh, use the lower end of guidance uh, to, uh, to complete this trade. Uh, we are estimating a, uh, either a break even to $15 million uh, a net profit, somewhere in between. And you can argue this is a quite wide, but let's say a few million dollars profit for uh, the sake of uh, this projection right there. But we went even further. What we did, we actually draft a projection of the share price based on those two scenarios for the FY25, essentially when the company report the FY25. And the best scenario where we are very conservative into a breaking even to a small net profit, say $5 million to $15 million. So we believe, we expect the share price could be anything uh, in between uh, the $1.50 to $2.50. This is the best scenario, which is the worst of this projection here. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? But now, uh, to estimate the share price, we always take the most conservative approach possible so we can mitigate the risk. So that's why we're bringing a, a step down, step backwards here on the scenario number two, uh, where we are considering it's more loss to break even. So essentially $5 million to break even. So what I did here is based on the fact that a small loss to break even could, uh, could put EML stock price in between $1 to $1.50 within the next three months, pretty, pretty much in the next three months, because in uh, February we will have FY25 first half result being released in the market and they're going to be a further confirmation and a fairly good idea of uh, this, uh, uh, this profitability projection. So once we have the first half of FY25 results released, normally the company will release uh, what the net profit was in their first half. So then we can uh, really come back and adjust this share price outlook for FY25 in the, all those three scenarios again. So and then the, 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 the most optimistic, the upside potential here, provided that uh, the company uh, is uh, goes on a higher end of this outlook, uh, profit outlook, then we're being expecting the stock price to surpass $2.50. And that could happen really quickly. So it's just got to be uh, mindful for the fact that we, we could have uh, a further rally here as we just received the confirmation of the company in terms of a guidance for the EBITDA. So we still need to verify what the profit will look like. We, we're not 100% sure yet whether there will be some cash burn still remained from a, the operations uh, of uh, winding down PCSL. But 
the, the first half will give us a fairly good idea. Now, let's jump straight into the chart formation. That's what most of you guys probably waiting. So look at this. Back in 2020 and 2021, when interest rates uh, w were p very low, uh, uh, EML was, uh, has actually reached $6. And then went all the way down as a result of the problems that we explained to you now, just before, but also as a result of a massive interest rate hikes since uh, like post COVID, and 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 then recently it's sort of um, over the last uh, eighteen months that's when the stock price has stabilized, and obviously market lost interest on this particular stock, but I have been telling our members and our viewers that EML is now incredibly underpriced, provided that the company was able to turn around its earnings before tax, and especially if EML goes back into profitability for FY25. That would be the best case scenario. And then that's when we would be looking at EML jumping uh, towards Two dollars again. We saw with Zip, we saw with any other or many other stocks, and I think EML is just a matter of time. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to see this uh, first half of FY25 uh, 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 results, which will be released in two and a half months, giving or taking. So at the moment, for me, EML is still a buy opportunity, it's still trading uh, pretty much at technically fair price here. Okay, and macroeconomic outlook is favorable for EML. Also, the fundamentals are improving. So the three key elements of our multidimensional uh, strategy, and that's why we bought EML a couple of weeks ago, because it was trading at technically discounted price for the long term here at the bullish intersection level uh, one in there. So essentially, favorable technical formation, favorable fundamentals with growth outlook and also favorable macroeconomic outlook. These three elements line up exactly the same way that we saw Zip back uh, in 2023, at the end of 2023, where it's rallied from a few cents into $3.30 uh, or $3.50, which is uh, pretty much worthy now. So this is my comprehensive view of EML. If you are interested to have access to our full stock analysis, uh, I I'm going to be putting the link into our Facebook group. So just make sure you uh, sign up for this group. It's free anyway, BG Trading. And the link is right here at the comments. So all we need to do is just go there in the group and take a look and you get full access to this analysis. Obviously, we won't be sharing the the, the entry points or uh, the targets, but uh, our view is still, uh, we haven't even rallied half of what we expecting that this stock will rally. So patience is key, most important, patience. Uh, be sitting into a company that is improving its fundamentals. That's what we want at this stage, especially because the market has rallied really hard and I'm pretty sure investors are looking for value opportunities and this is a great value in our opinion. Again, this is not a financial advice. Make sure you understand what you are putting the money in and make sure you do your own due diligence before buying into a position or even selling into a position. Okay, thank you very much. That brings us to the end of this video. Let us know what you think about EML payments, whether you see upside, whether you agree with us or, or you disagree. So always uh, keen to have a chat in the comments below. Thank you very much. I'll see you next video.